It's 3080 month, or 30 series month. And there's 30 days in this month. Ironic? Is that the intro? Yep. <laughs> The Eclipse P500A from Fantex is a premium mid-tower that combines airflow performance and aesthetics. A full mesh front and a ridiculous amount of fan and radiator configurations with up to seven 120mm fans ensure that your components never thermal throttle. The Eclipse P500A is available in both RGB and non-RGB versions, making it a flexible choice for your next system builder upgrade. To see the full list of specs and configurations, click the sponsored link in the description below. Now we've got a lot of content coming on 30 series. It's, it's, there's a lot of things to cover. Um, and th there's just no way to cover it all in one video. Otherwise it will be half as long as a Steve video and we can't have that. Love you, Steve. Congrats on a million, by the way. Yay! Anyway, moving forward, we're gonna tackle a topic today that I'm seeing more and more on my, my Twitter. Uh, I, I actually went to Reddit the other day because I was like, that's a valuable place to go to see what people are saying and thinking and asking even though I don't actually go to Reddit. Fun fact, that j 2 Cent subreddit I have no part of. I don't even know what's going on in there. Phil, is everything civil in my Reddit subreddit or do you not go there either? <laughs> Seems about right. But one of the things I'm seeing more and more as we get closer to the cards becoming available because people then start doing that, well, I got some time to think about it. And the closer we get to launch, you're like, oh crap. Crap, I gotta make a decision. What do I do, what do I do? Well, I think a lot of people are panic selling their 2080 Ti's. And I kind of want to do this talking head piece. So yeah, feel free to minimize it. We'll put some things probably on the screen in terms of spec comparison, but I'm going to say them out loud too. So you don't actually need to inconvenience your monitor by rendering this beauty. <laughs> but we're going to talk about a couple of different aspects of the 2080 Ti. Is it still worth it? Should you sell it? And if you do, what should you get? Now the thing everyone's losing their minds about is the fact that a uh, AMD, yeah, wow. Nvidia's new $500 graphics card is more powerful than a locomotive, no, no more powerful than a 2080 Ti at $700 less than what this came out for. Now, that's a loaded statement. There are some things that you need to consider about whether or not it's really more, more powerful. Now we're going off paper, by the way. We don't have 3070s, no one's got them yet. They're not gonna be launching until mid-October because obviously Nvidia wants to sell as many 3080s and 3090s as they possibly can before people go for the more value proposition. They, they want to sell the more expensive card. I mean, that's, yeah, why the heck not, right? Ferrari wants to sell Ferraris. Wow, headlines. So when it comes to the 2080 Ti, the first thing you have to remember if you've got one of these cards and you're sitting here going, man, or in my case, you know, I don't want to play with you anymore. And you just put the little, yeah. <laughs> okay. This card, it's not suddenly slower. This card did not suddenly give you less performance. You are still getting the same performance you found worth $1,200 a few weeks ago. So don't look at this as suddenly going, it's a two buck chuck. And I like nice wine, right? It's not. I, I want to put that out there first and foremost because I think the, you'll drive yourself crazy if you always think about the newest thing that comes out after you buy something. Guess what? If an auto, automotive manufacturer is having crazy blowout sales in July, new model years are coming. And the worst thing you could do is sit there and look at the new model and go, I only waited, I could have that one. The point is, you found it worth the, the $1,000 to $1,500 these cards can range because they probably had the biggest swing in AIB pricing, I think, of any generation of NVIDIA graphics card ever. 999 MSRP to $2,000 Kingpin cards and stuff or whatever they cost. It's still gonna give you the same performance you're getting right now before the 3080 and 3070 come out that you found worth it. And if that's the case, and you're not a performance seeker where you're like, I have to have the best, which I think a lot of people who bought this card are of that mindset, you don't need to get rid of it and you don't have to suddenly look at it as it's, it's an obsolete paperweight. I've seen people call the 2080 Ti an obsolete paperweight. That is probably the stupidest thing I think I've ever heard anyone say. Just because a new car comes out doesn't mean your current model is a, is a clunker worthy of the junkyard. It, it's not the way it works. So I just wanna kind of put your mind at ease a little bit. Don't look at your card as suddenly old. Look at it as giving you performance you still found valuable to you. The other thing I wanna tackle is whether or not you should sell your 2080 Ti and get a 3070. Now, in many ways, I'd be considered a lateral move because the 3070, although being compared to the 2080 Ti, that's just where the, where the, that's where the cookies fell, the dominoes. 
the cookies crumbled. That's, that's where things just happen. Don't burn your bridges before they've hatched. The 3070 has the same GDDR6 found inside of the 2080 Ti. It has three gigabytes less of it. It's also in a 256-bit bus versus the 2080 Ti's 352-bit bus. It's gonna beat the 2080 Ti in just straight up gaming. If you're not playing a title, that choose through VRAM, which is something that we're seeing happen more and more lately. You can find plenty of discussions now about whether or not eight gigabytes is enough. There's a ton of different ways you could chew through VRAM and having three extra gigabytes on the, 20, uh, the 2080 Ti would be beneficial at that point. Obviously, if you're looking at getting rid of your 2080 Ti for a 3080, that's an uplift across the board everywhere, except the one gigabyte less of VRAM. So we go from 11 to 10, but you gain way faster G6X, and we can talk about all that later on. Let's talk about, though, the person that is uh, thinking about getting rid of their 2080 Ti for a 3080 or 3090. I've seen people ask me, Jay, should I sell my card now? Because the biggest concern now is the used market suddenly became flooded with 20 series cards. 2080s, 28 Supers, 2080 Ti's, and 2080 Ti's are pretty much going for 500 bucks across the board. Like this Strix card, $1,200, $1,249 I think it was, some of that. You can find them for 500 bucks, 550 online. Jay, should I buy a used 2080 Ti, because I'm coming from a 900 series or a low end card, or should I get a 3070 or, or, or not? Because those are people now going, $500 card is now within reach, $800, no, $1,200, $1, hell no. $500 seems a lot more attainable. Well, like we just talked about, the same specs apply to you, 2080 Ti versus 3070. But the risk you take by buying a used card is that you don't know what it's been through. You don't know if it's been mined on, you don't know if it's been folding at home in its spare time for two years. Because remember, the, the card is two years old. It could be a one month old 2080 Ti. It could be a two year old gone through hell 2080 Ti. Could have been choked off in a, in a case that doesn't give it proper airflow, fans running 100%, never cleaned or dusted out, thermal paste could be all dried up. Who knows what thermal paste each brand is using. I mean, there's a lot of things that, that, that could have happened to that card in that two years. And I can guarantee you, anyone selling their graphics card is not gonna be super upfront about, yeah, I've been folding on this thing every day for 12 hours and gaming on it for six and mining on it for the rest. And no one's gonna tell you that because all you're gonna hear is, I have run this female dog hard. Put away wet. It's a horse reference, okay, Phil? <laughs> Sir. <laughs> so ask, ask them to show proof of maybe when they bought it, receipt, something. And if they're like, well, I bought it used, I'd maybe not go with a third owner card because again, why are they selling it so often? Um, but there's a whole nother video we're gonna do about how to safely buy used parts and not get ripped off or just hosed out of your money. And that's a whole separate piece worthy of its own video because I think that's something a lot of people are going through right now. But the great thing for you though, on the used market is with the flooding of graphics cards means prices are gonna come down. Because what's gonna happen now, and this segues me perfectly into my next part here, is whether or not you should sell your card first or buy the new card first. I think it's pretty obvious. If you can afford to buy the new card without selling the old one first, do that, buy the new card first. Because the worst thing that could happen to you is you don't have a spare graphics card. You sell this for 500 bucks. You got 500 bucks sitting in your hand and you got $300 more to put with it in your other hand. And you're like, I'm gonna go get myself a 3080. They're out of stock everywhere. And if 20 series tells us anything, you can expect it to be out of stock for more than a month, maybe two months before it becomes readily available. As fast as, be, as notifications were sent out that stock was back in, they were gone. I can tell you right now, I saw a lot of angry tweets of people going, I just got the notification saying it was in stock and I put it in my cart and I went to pay and it said, sorry, no longer available. What the hell? That happens with any new generation of card. It happened with the 900 series, 700 series, Pascal, 20 series. It's gonna happen with 30 series, obviously. And think about it. A, a card series that everyone was mad about because it had some of the worst uplift in performance per dollar that we've seen in a long, long time, still sold out at that rate. So what do you think 30 series is gonna do? Now the last thing you wanna be sitting there doing is looking at your paperweight on your desk with no graphics card in it going, damn. So if you can swing, beg, borrow, steal, just don't borrow from the bank because interest is dumb. Credit card's bad. Anyway, whatever, That's, I'm growing up Jay talking now. Um, when it comes to the card, if you can afford it somehow, some way, without, and no, 60 days no interest doesn't count as borrowing interest free people because no one ever pays it off in the 60 days. It's designed to get you. It's a racket. I like money. 
So if you can afford the card first, otherwise I would probably recommend maybe waiting until the second round of availability. I, I, I mean, that's, that's everyone's situation financially is different, clearly, and I'm sure some people are like, like right now going, God, it'd be nice, Jay, to be able to just go buy whatever. I'm telling you right now, it'd, it'd suck more to go and buy something <laughs> and then try and buy it and you can't get it, now you got nothing. Some guy's over here going, ha ha, while he's gaming on your 2080 Ti, and you're sitting there just going, refresh, 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 hoping a card comes back in stock. But if there's a too long, didn't watch version of all of this, it's the 2080 Ti is no less powerful than it was a couple days ago. It's just not the most powerful card, but it still gives you the exact same performance per dollar that you paid for it. You still paid 1200 bucks or whatever for it. Your performance per dollar is still the same, and you still found that worthy of your money. Don't suddenly look at the new cards and go, man, Unless you bought it a month ago, then yeah, you should definitely be kicking yourself because we talked about not buying anything for months now and you didn't listen, but that's besides the point. Maybe you're a new subscriber and for that, I'm sorry that you didn't find us sooner because you could have saved some money, but regardless, I digress. If you're gonna buy a used card, try and get all the information you can about it first because like I said, you don't want to buy a, someone else's problem. Yes, there are lemon graphics cards. Yes, there are duds. There are cards that don't overclock well. That's a fun question to a used guy. How well is it overclocked? Well, I was able to get blah, 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 blah out of it. Well, how long did you run that overclock? Well, oh, I just tried it to see what it would do and then I put it back to stock. Yeah, right, I'm gonna knock 50 bucks off because of degradation. I'll do that. I, and if they say no, guess what? There's 500 of these for sale on eBay right now. Sorry, dude, I'm out of here. See if you can get proof that the card works by, if it's local like Craigslist, see it running, see it in action. Don't just take his word for it in a screenshot. How do you know that came from his system and his card? The other thing too is don't sell your card before you get the new one in hand if you can afford it. Otherwise you might find your hands empty for a while or trying to game with $800 cash and putting cash into a computer doesn't work the same. Not physically, anyway. But with that, the reviews are gonna go live very quickly. And I'm curious as to what you guys are gonna do. Are you gonna play the game of gamble, sell your card first and hope you get one, or are you gonna buy a used 2080 Ti, or are you gonna sell a 2080 Ti and get a 3070, or are you gonna get a 30, what are you guys gonna do? Just put it down below in the comments, I'm really curious. You'd be surprised at what your comments do to shape the way we do these videos, because it, you guys are like the biggest, like, crowd, so, no, um, focus group, that's what it is. You guys are like the biggest focus group ever. Go, comment, safe now. It's safe now. <laughs>